I'll just play you this intro and I'll show you kind of how I how I made it, how I got it to happen. So the tune is kind of like a bluesy kind of a thing. Um, and again, I actually came up with that first in the body of the song because I was like, okay, it's simple bluesy kind of tune, but I want to have some more dense harmony happen and later in the song. So that's why I kind of wrote it within the song first, and that sounds like this. So I do a few different things with vocals that I just, I don't know, I, I just um, I just prefer to do it that way so it could sound a little funny. Like if I take out that lead vocal and just literally play the backgrounds, you hear that chopping. Okay, the reason for that is because flaming consonants drive me nuts. So I'm basically cutting all the consonants out of my background vocals and I'm letting the strength of that lead vocal handle all the k -t -t and whatever is happening and you don't hear it. You don't really hear it. And plus I, I always clean up uh, you know, any, any stuff like that can get in the way. Uh, with, when you've got 16 vocals stacked up, all the breathing and all the consonants and all the anything that Anything that isn't uniform kind of messes with the overall vibe. So for me to make it all clean and tight, I just chop off literally the ends of these phrases on my whole group of, uh, of like 16 tracks of vocals, which leaves a really clean hole for like the lead line to fill. And, and that means that that whole ensemble starts and stops exactly together. So I'll even chop off the beginnings and ends so that they are uniform, even if they're not like on the beat or it doesn't matter. Like the fact that they all start at the same time and all end at the same time, I'm not moving stuff that much. I'm just making them by cutting the wave. And that really gives you like a uniform kind of a, a thing. Okay, so I wanted to also talk, the, the, the point of bringing that whole thing up was like how did I get there with those vocals? And that's basically because I'm a keyboard player. So everything I do kind of stems from the keyboard and stems from the, what I'm playing. So actually, uh, I am basically just harmonizing out like whatever I'm playing I'm basically f giving to the singer to do but how how do you do that well that's where DP comes in really handy because I can um, I can show you okay so basically here's all my background vocals I got 16 tracks okay um, I'm actually coming at that from the piano it's just MIDI so I'll play that And you can see the got the score there, and it's quantized. It's only meant to be easy, easier to read. And chord symbols. Okay, so that's the that's the part. So even now, it's like, what do we do? You know, how do I get a singer to deal with this? So I just broke it out. And I put the t I put the top four lines on separate MIDI tracks, so now I've literally got a very simple to follow line. So that's the first line. And the funny thing is, it cracks me up because the lines by themselves are so weird and strange, but it, you get someone to sing all that, it comes together and it sounds like something. Uh, First line. Now there's four of them, and I basically went down each each part, 
and it becomes a much easier thing to kind of read. So there's like the part two. Here and there we add some of the lyrics. And we just build it up. And at the end you have that. And I use that tuning window, especially for minor second intervals. Stuff that's like, you know, you got a B and a C together, and it's very hard. Even if the singer sings really nicely, pretty much in tune, and it would, it would fly on its own, but in a chord, like, I'll heavily tune those kind of notes. Like, minor second intervals, whole step intervals, or even big jumps where a singer has to sing like a, a minor sixth or a sixth. I'll tune stuff that, so that they really hit it, you know? So that there's no, like, but the top lines, the melodic lines, I won't tune so much. So it gives you the impression the whole thing is looser, but all that stuff on the bottom is dead in tune. See what I mean? So that really helps you get a result like that, you know? I mean, I don't know if that's how Take Six does it. I, probably not. But, you know, that's my, my way of kind of getting there.